here in just a second. But first, let's put a quick shout out to www.noblegoldinvestments.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Reign in wealth like King Charles with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments. Just as King Charles. His magnificent golden crown symbolizes his wealth and power. A gold IRA can fortify your own financial kingdom. Imagine the confidence that comes from a retirement backed by a tangible proven asset, gold, and assets that's not at the mercy of unpredictable stock market swings. A crown may not be included but is it a future free of financial stress, worthy of a throne? Like royalty, enjoy the luxury of choice. You can choose gold or silver, platinum or palladium. The realm is yours to command. Fend off those concerns about economic downturns and let your wealth thrive with the timeless security of precious metals. This month, they're going to give away a one quarter of an ounce. It's not this one because it's a, it's a one quarter of an ounce gold coin like this, except it is the first ever issued King Charles III image on, and it will be yours for you to keep a collector's item. And it's one quarter of an ounce of gold. You'll get it if you set up a gold IRA or roll over your 401k a $50,000 or higher. A lot of you have that in your retirement funds. This could be a way to protect it. People are saying they're tired of losing their inheritance or not inheritance. They're losing their retirement funds because of the erosion, because of the downturns in the market. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Go to www.noblegoldinvestments.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Or pick up the phone and call them at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. And tell them that Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. Individuals who applied for positions at Bill Gates' private office have recounted a rigorous screening process that involved inquiries about their personal lives, including sensitive topics such as sexual history and drug use. It has been reported that female candidates were specifically asked about extramarital affairs preferred pornography, and whether they had explicit photos on their phones. However, it remains unclear if similar questions were posed to male applicants, as none of the male applicants interviewed by the Wall Street Journal mentioned such queries. According to sources familiar with the hiring process, some female candidates were even asked if they had ever engaged in activities like, quote, dancing for dollars while one candidate revealed being asked about contracting a sexually transmitted disease. Gates's private office, known as Gates's Ventures, denied knowledge of these questions being asked during background checks conducted by third-party contractors, the Wall Street Journal reported. A spokesperson for Gates's Ventures stated that such lines of inquiry would be considered unacceptable and in violation of the contractor's agreement emphasizing the importance of compliance with pre-employment screening laws. The screenings were reportedly carried out in recent years by a security consulting firm called Concentric Advisors. The interviewer's objective was to uncover any information that could potentially compromise or blackmail individuals who would be working closely with Bill Gates, one of the world's wealthiest individuals. Concentric Advisors has stated that their protocols adhere to relevant legal requirements. On Thursday, the U.S. Supreme Court delivered a significant blow to the long-standing affirmative action admission policies of Harvard and the University of North Carolina, ruling them as unconstitutional. This decision deals a severe setback to decades-long initiatives aimed at increasing minority enrollment in American universities by considering applicants' race as a factor, CNBC reported. Chief Justice John Roberts, in the majority opinion, emphasized the importance of eliminating racial discrimination entirely. All five of his conservative colleagues joined him in this ruling. Roberts stated that both Harvard's and UNC's affirmative action programs inherently employ race in a detrimental manner, 
perpetuate racial stereotypes and lack clear endpoints. Quote, we have never allowed admissions programs to function in this manner in the past, and we will not allow it today, Roberts wrote. He concluded that these policies violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, which prohibits states from denying individuals equal protection under the law. The New York City Fire Department reported on Thursday morning that a fire broke out at the flagship Tiffany store in Manhattan at 9.38 a.m. local time. The fire department received a report of a transformer fire, and fortunately, there were no immediate reports of injuries, NBC News has reported. Fire officials requested the presence of Con Edison, a New York utility company, at the scene. Located adjacent to Trump Tower, this iconic store famously featured in the 1961 Audrey Hepburn film Breakfast at Tiffany's suffered an electrical fire in the basement, according to a representative from Tiffany & Company. In a statement released on Thursday, the representative said, quote, This morning, prior to the store's opening hours, an electrical fire erupted in the basement area near the periphery of the Tiffany landmark on 5th Avenue in New York City. The fire has been successfully extinguished, and we are collaborating with the New York Fire Department to implement precautionary measures ensuring the safety of our employees and clients. Following inspection by the fire marshal, we anticipate reopening the store later today. Live footage captured shortly before 11.30 a.m. depicted firefighters aiming a hose at the building while visible smoke damage marred the store's facade. By noon, the fire had been fully extinguished. This is according to the New York Fire Department. 